Stella Tours welcomes you to the beautiful and historic San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, Mexico. We were happy to be joined by Stella's mom, Rosita, and our good friend, Patricia, on this voyage to beautiful San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, Mexico. Stella arranged for a van to transport us from the Leon Airport to the hotel. We chose the Hotel Casa Primavera for our stay and were very happy with the accommodations and location. One of the valuable benefits of the Casa Primavera is free transportation to the town center, which is about an eight minute drive down the hill. The hotel will send the van to bring you back, but a taxi will cost less than $3 if you can't call or don't want to wait for the van. A rental car is really not advisable as the streets are narrow and made of cobblestones and parking is hard to find. We arrived midday on a Saturday and headed to the Plaza Principal, the town center, which is dominated by a Gothic church called the Parroquia de San Miguel Arcángel. After becoming familiar with the plaza, we strolled the surrounding streets and shops. San Miguel de Allende is known as one of the world's top culinary cities, and we chose Nicasio Comedor Mexicano for our first meal of the trip. Stella's advice proved to be excellent, and we enjoyed delicious, subtly complex Nouveau Mexican flavors in this tiny restaurant. Cash only, and no alcohol is served. Being a Saturday, the plaza was busy with events. We got to witness a wedding party just after the ceremony, complete with the traditional burrito and mariachis. San Miguel de Allende is located in the center of Mexico and is at an altitude of about 6,100 feet. So don't be surprised if you're a little tired from walking the city. Of course, a walk can lead to a bit of thirst. And so later in the afternoon, we had a margarita or two at Mamma Mia restaurant and bar. Very popular, great margaritas. We plan to enjoy our first evening sunset at the famous Luna Bar atop the Rosewood Hotel. The terraza view of the golden Mexican sunset was stunning. As night fell, we returned to the plaza and enjoyed its lively ambiance. and a quick walk that took us to the Moxie restaurant, a top pick for a gourmet meal in San Miguel de Allende. Stella decided on Cumpanio for Sunday breakfast, a wonderful little restaurant that specializes in Mexican plates with a French touch. Their croissants are maybe the best this side of Paris. I had a French breakfast baguette topped with a chicken tamale. Make sure not to miss Kumpani. After breakfast, we walked around the town center looking at shops and the colorful architecture.
residents of San Miguel de Allende can find almost any reason to have a parade. And this one was called Desfile de la Santa Cruz, or Parade of the Holy Cross. After a long morning stroll around the town center, we happened upon a restaurant called Trece Cielos, or Thirteen Skies. Not originally on Stella's restaurant list, we were very pleasantly surprised. Thirteen Cielos turned out to be a fabulous culinary experience. Estamos aquí en Trece Cielos. Here we are in Thirteen Skies in San Miguel de Allende. Our wonderful mesero, whose name is? Alex. Alex is going to take good care of us today. We're going to have a great time. Usted puede explicar exactamente lo que es que tenemos aquí en esta mesita. Ay, ven en chef. Sí, como no. Ven en chef. Ven en chef. Ven en chef. Oh, mira el chef. No, no lo queremos comer. Trae verduras de la región y un toque de, de un mezcal de aquí del estado. En, en, y mi señora que es que tiene ella. Ella tiene una rachera. Ajá. Es de ternera. Es una eh, arrachera de ternera. Es una arrachera de ternera. Va acompañada con frutos de la de bueno verdura de la región, papa cambrai, cebolla. Y es un corte de picaña, es una picaña. No, pues sí. es que la picaña de maíz. Ay, muchísimas sí. gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. ¿De dónde viene la Y esta, este plato tan lindo aquí sí. con los vegetales. Sí, este es el lechón. El lechón que también trae este, verduras de, orgánicas de, de aquí del, de la región. De alrededores de San Miguel. Y el lechón que es un es una carne de, de un animalito de 21 días. No he probado la comida leche materna y no ha pisado ningún tipo de piso salvo alguna alfombra de protección. O sea, son, es, son animales muy cuidados. Y es típico de aquí. More strolling around the town before an incredible sunset as seen from La Azotea restaurant and bar. Monday we hired a taxi to take us to see some sights in the outskirts of the city. One was a nature park called Charco del Ingenio for a walk around a dry lake bed.
The charcoal, or mud puddle, fills up due to the summer Chubasco tropical thunderstorms that occur regularly from June through August. The dry lake bed was green from the recent winter rains, and many of the cacti were still in their spring bloom. After the nature walk, we ventured off to the Santuario de Atontonilco, located about seven miles northwest of San Miguel. The Santuario is often referred to as the Sistine Chapel of Mexico. It's considered a World Heritage Site. Construction began in 1740 and was completed in 1748. Most of the intricate murals were painted by Antonio Martinez de Pocasangre, with some by Jose Maria Barajas over a 30-year period. San Miguel de Allende is located in the state of Guanajuato in a region known as El Bajío, about 140 miles northwest of Mexico City and about 60 miles east-southeast of León. We'd planned on having lunch at Nextia in the boutique hotel Nena. When we arrived, we were offered to tour one of the handful of exquisite rooms, a great option for our next visit to San Miguel. Nextia is one of the city's finest restaurants, and we were thrilled with our meal and terrific service. We enjoyed beautifully prepared creations set in the patio of the Hotel Nena. A la parrilla, empieza su porción lentamente, y cuando ya está a punto de salir, le sumimos un poquito para que se humee. Tenemos queso parmesano, un toque de gel de aguacate, y un mix de lechuga. Cabrito. Yo le puedo. Foie gras, chicharrón de frijol, una gelatina de manzanilla, puré de camote y un trombo de vainilla. Rico, gracias. a leisurely walk around the area, then back to the Sky Lounge at the Hotel Nena to enjoy our last evening in San Miguel de Allende. Complete with tequila shots, a festive way to end a fabulous trip.
We've had a wonderful time showing you the best parts of San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, Mexico. Look forward to more videos from Stella Tours in the near future. All the best.